All right. I want to start off by saying, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Call Hala Yahawa, Ba Shem Yahawa Shai, Ba Shem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And uh, Shalom to the few sincere Akwath out there listening and learning as well. Salakia. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to write this out. It'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go in the uh, Raka Kwadash. Going to be real quick, real, real quick. As you can see, it's a short uh, video, 54 seconds, off of Fox 32 Chicago from one day ago. And it reads, um, suburban police won't help Chicago should there be an officer shortage over um, the you-know-what mandate, okay? It says, suburban police won't help Chicago should there be an officer shortage over Beetlejuice mandate, mandate, okay? So it says, what happens if, what, so what happens if the city of Chicago is short on officers amid the dispute over the Beetlejuice mandate? It says, at least three suburban counties say their departments will not be helping out. So every man is going to have to fend for themselves is what they're saying, which we, hey, like we keep telling you, we are definitely in these times, man. Daniel 12 and 1, man. <laughs> Jacob's trouble, a time like never before, okay? For the lack of bread, for the for the tribulation, the fear, the love of many is going to wax cold, man. You know, it's going to be a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Every man is going to be for themselves, man. And really, it's really, um, like the elders keep saying, this is um, the hour of temptation. It's, it's, you know, this trial, this test that's being presented, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's test. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is testing you to see if you're faithful, you know. If you're faithful, if you truly believe, you got to have faith plus works, you know. Your actions, your, you, you know, you know. That's what's going on. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is making an inquisition. He's visiting this place to see if you truly believe, you know. And it's going to get nasty. It's going to get nasty. A lot of people are going to fold. A lot of people are going to betray each other, you know. You know, people's true colors are gonna are, are truly going to show when they have nothing to lose but their life, you know. You know. Hey, Lord's will, we keep, we, we'll, the, the Spirit will be upon us. That the wa and we'll we'll be able to endure these times to come, cause it's gonna get nasty, you know. Ain't nobody gonna be coming to help you or save you, and like I said, at the end of the day, it's your Habashim Shai making an inquisition, visiting you for for the things you've been doing. You know what have you been doing? Have you been storing up this oil in your lamp? Have you been warning the sheep, feeding the sheep? You know, working out your own salvation, building up your faith. You know, or have you just been feeding into the flesh the flesh you know feeding your, your your lust vain things that are vain that prop that don't profit you you know or or, or are you focusing on the kingdom and, and guarding girding up your mind for for the things that are about to take place you know these are these are serious times man it's gonna get nasty it's gonna get nasty in the blink of an eye it's gonna get nasty and the floodgates are gonna open and there's gonna be no turning back Okay, this is Zephaniah, um, what's this, Zephaniah 1 and, and 11. The main point is in 12. It says, how ye inhabitants of Maktesh, for all the inhabitants, it says, Slaki, how ye inhabitants of Maktesh, for all the merchant people are cut down. All they that bear silver are cut off. It says, and it shall come to pass, that's the main point, and it shall come to pass at that time that I will, and we're in these times. Hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is visiting us daily, every morning, you know. But the, the real judgment, the real inquisition ain't really begun yet. You know, there's still mercy. There's still time to get your, your household in order, to get yourself together, you know. You know, it's still mercy. The, the Lord still can be found, you know. But there's coming a time when you ain't going to find the Lord. And it's going to be nothing but judgment. No comfort, no mercy, no answers. Just death out there, man, you know. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish. That's the point. 
You know, the Lord is making an inquisition. He's, he's he, everybody, man. We're all going to have to answer for the things done in our body, whether they be good or bad. Every idle word we're going to have to give account of, you know. It's judgment time, judgment day. You know, it's, it's drawing nigh. It's in the wind. You can feel it. It's coming in the air. You can feel it. Death is around the corner, you know. You know. Hey, but the but the hopeful elect, hey, we're going to be good. Famine, we're going to laugh in the face of famine, in the face of, face of death. You know, we're going to laugh Lord's will because the Lord put his spirit upon us. You know, you know, the scriptures say no evil shall come nigh I dwelling. You know, that's because we made what? Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, our refuge, our habitation, you know, you know, you know. But the two thirds, they, they, they pushed the Lord away. They haven't been seeking the Lord. They've been putting all their trust in their daddy, Esau, Edom, in this system, in this world, you know. So they're going to be caught out there, you know, and, and idols, false gods, things that, that wherein there is no profit, man. You see, you see, it's going to fail you in them times, man. You know, it says, and it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem. And remember, we're a people before a place. Okay. And we're scattered amongst the four corners of the earth. And Jacob's trouble is going to try the earth. The hour of temptation is going to try the earth. Okay. You know. You know, and we it says, and that time I will search Jerusalem with candles and will punish, right? He's about to judge you, you know, he's about to judge you and punish the men that are settled on their lees. You see, that are relaxed, that are, that are just, you know, having fun in fun land, you know, you know, looking for things to continue as they are, you know, looking for things to go back to normal, you know, putting the day of the Lord off, you know. It says that say in their heart, in your mind, your lob, the Lord Yahweh will not do good, neither will he do evil. You see, that's what you're saying. The Lord ain't finna do nothing to me. You know, ain't nothing finna happen. You know, oh, them, they crazy. They've been saying that shit for years. They've been saying that since the year 2000, since the year 1999, the Lord finna come. But guess what? You, you, you putting off the day of the Lord. We're hastening the day. We're looking for that day, man. So that day doesn't overtake us as a thief. You know, it's going to catch two thirds of you off guard, man. You know, serious business. Second, uh, Ezra 16. And, uh, like I said, I don't, I don't want to make this long. I'm going to close out with the video. Second Ezra 16, you know, but that, hey, man, it's getting serious, man. You know, 20, hey, Lord's will. Hey, we, well, we don't know. We don't know. But 2020, 2022, hey, it's going to be a hell of a year, man. You can see it. It's going to be a whole different vibration, you know. And Esau looked like he didn't tell you. He ain't playing around no more, man. You know, he's just going to come on out with it, you know. You know. Um, this is, uh, like I said, 2nd Ezra, it was the 16. 2nd Ezra 16 and it's a lock. Um. Um, let me start at um, 61. He made man and put his heart in the midst of the body and gave him breath. Yahweh did, right? Life and understanding, right? And then what? And then Israel, Yasharala, we got the breath of understanding, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, this truth, these laws, statutes, and commandments. It's, it's our wisdom in the sight of the nation. You know, it's what separates us, right? It says, Yea, and the Spirit of, of the Almighty Yahweh, which made all things and searches out searcheth out all hidden things in the secrets of the earth. Right? There's nothing hid that shall not be discovered, you know. The eyes of the Lord are what? I think it says ten thousand times brighter than the sun, you know. The Lord sees everything, man. You can't hide from the Lord. So it would behoove you to to, to sincerely seek the Lord and sincerely repent and, and, and you know, be obedient, you know, you know. It says, surely he know of your inventions. You can't trick the Lord. You can't trick no Lord and you can't escape you can't escape his judgment. None can deliver out of his hand, man. The only thing you can do is obey. You know, that's the only thing you can do. We're worms, man. We're worms. So be oh they repent, man, before it's too late. It says, Surely he knoweth your inventions and what ye think in your hearts. Yeah, in your lob, man. You scoffers and scorners. You you really talking shit in your mind, you know? The Lord the Lord knows, man. 
You know? It says, even them that sin and would hide their sin. It says, therefore have the Lord, yeah, therefore had the Lord, I don't want exactly searched out all your work, all your works. Yeah, see that? He's making an inquisition. You know, that's why we, we, we hey, hey, all our righteousness is as filthy right. We keep pushing, we keep pushing. We, 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 we all worthy of death, man. You know, we all worthy of death. We all have done things worthy of death. Whether it be in this life or our previous life, man. So all we could do is keep pushing and keep giving diligence and keep praying and begging for forgiveness, man. Keep fighting, you know, you know. And Lord's will, the Lord will have mercy upon us, cause He's He's merciful, He's long suffering, He's pitiful, you know. That all may come to repentance, you know. So it says, surely He know, but you gotta seek Him sincerely. No ulterior motives, you know. Not for filthy lucre, not for vain glory, not for women, you know. Not not for none of that, you know. You know, it says, surely he knoweth your inventions and what ye think in your hearts, even them that sin and would hide their sin. Therefore, have the Lord, I don't want exactly search out all your works and he will put you all to shame. You know, and that's what we, hey, we, that's, we don't want that, man. That's why we're giving diligence. You know, we're studying, you know, a workman rightly dividing the word of the truth needed not to be ashamed. You know, I butchered that, but that's the point. We, you know, we don't want to be ashamed, man. You know, when the Lord comes to, to, to shine that light, we want to come right away in that light. We don't want to be trying to cover our sins and hide and be, you know, we want to end, open up right away when the Lord knocks, man. We want to go right in and meet our Lord, you know. Wedding garments pressed, oil in our lamp, occupying, eyes single, you know, ready, you know. It says, it says, um, therefore have the Lord exactly searched out all your works and he will put you all to shame. That's you two thirds, you hypocrites, you know, you unbelievers. And when your sins are brought forth, ye shall be ashamed before men and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. What will ye do or how will ye hide your sins before Yahweh and his angels? That's the point, man. This judgment is coming, man. Whether you whether you believe it or not, whether you accept it or not, whether you like it or not, it's coming, man. It's coming. The Lord is is not um slack as some men count slackness, man. And if he didn't come, no flesh would be saved. You see, the Lord is shortening the in the, the, the the Lord is shortening the days for the elect's sake. He's speeding things up. He he he's he's um stirring this devil up, making him move at Operation Warp Speed. You see, because the Lord wants to redeem us. You see. He wants to judge these damn devils, you know, and two thirds of his own people and give us uh, the, the elect that righteous reward, which is the kingdom so that we can finally rest. You see, you see, hey, the Lord is coming. His reward is with him. The righteous reward and the wicked, wicked reward, you know, you choose, you know, it says, what will you do or how will you hide your sins before Yahweh and his angels? Because the angels are taking account man every day every night they don't take no breaks man they taking note of everything you know or even your thoughts man you know it says behold yahweh himself is the judge fear him you see we fear yahweh not man we don't fear what esau edom can do to the body you know we fear what yahweh shai can do to the body and to the soul you see you see behold yahweh himself is the judge and he's coming back to judge this place, man. It says, fear him. Leave off from your sins. You got to repent. Ain't no YOLO. You do as thou will. Come as thou art. Nah, man. You got to be a, become a new creature in your house. Yahushai. Yahushai Hamashiach. Okay? Rehearse the righteous acts. Put on as the elect. You know? Give diligence. Fight. Push. Behold, Yahweh himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities. To meddle no more with them forever. So shall Yahweh lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. And that's what we look. We need to be delivered, man. We need that the wah. We need them angels to encamp around us, man. That's the only thing. That's the only way we're going to get up out of this, man. It says, for behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. And they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden under foot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection, an uproar upon those that fear the Lord. It says, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Um, 
It says, For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. You see? It says, Hear, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble, Jacob's trouble, are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. You see? You know? For Yahweh is your guide. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord Yahweh, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. And that's the point. That's the point, though. That's the point. Okay, so we definitely are in these times, man. You know, Yahweh Bisham Shai is making an inquisition, and you don't want to be one of these men that are saying, or women, you know, set, relax, settle, chilling, you know, you know, thinking things are just going to keep on keeping on. Saying the Lord will not do good nor evil. You wrong. He's about to do real evil, real bad. It's about to be real bad times. Daniel 12 and 1, 12 and 1, a time like never before. And you can clear, this, this is what this is telling. These, these are signs, man. The prophecies are screaming. Okay? All hell is about to break loose, man. Any day now. Any day now. You know, we're close. So like I always say, keep pushing. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye single. Shalom. Wa abad babo. So what happens if the city is short on officers? At least three suburban counties say their departments will not be helping out. A statewide law enforcement coalition told suburban police officials on Monday that the city could need help in an emergency should officers be taken off the job over the mandate issue. The Chicago Tribune reports the agency clarified this was only in case of serious catastrophic emergency, not routine duty. So what happens if the city is short on officers? At least three suburban counties say their departments will not be helping out. A statewide law enforcement coalition told suburban police officials on Monday that the city could need help in an emergency should officers be taken off the job over the mandate issue. The Chicago Tribune reports the agency clarified this was only in case of serious catastrophic emergency, not routine duty. The Kendall County Sheriff told the Trib this was a self-induced emergency for Mayor Lightfoot. The DuPage County Sheriff tells us outside of a legitimate emergency, that office will not send officers to Chicago. And the Kane County Sheriff had a more detailed response, saying in part, quote, I believe the polarization between the community and police is only reinforced by current Chicago politics. I will not send my personnel to Chicago unless an officer is under direct duress because I cannot support this slanted agenda.